It's the treatment some patients say is as bad as the disease. Well, I'd be lying to say it wasn't hard. It was you know, passing by the mirror, barely even recognizing the reflection. But there's now new hope for those in the fight of their lives. A technology that could mean fewer rounds of chemotherapy. Ten years of work have gone into this and we're at the threshold of starting our first clinical trials. The cutting edge technology is only at Sunnybrook and researchers hope it will be a game changer. We've uh, fabricated these components here at Sunnybrook. It's called a metabolic MRI breast cancer scanner. In a nutshell, it will help doctors tailor chemotherapy treatment for each individual patient. A multi-million dollar machine called a polarizer creates a serum for the injection. Then using the MRI, doctors can assess the effectiveness of the first treatment in just days, instead of weeks or months, which can be the difference between life or death. A significant portion of, of patients do not respond to their first course of, uh, of chemotherapy, roughly 25%. That's a lot of patients. Trials are going to begin on patients suffering from locally advanced breast cancer in the next couple months, but the end goal is to make this available to patients suffering from several forms of cancer. Eats away at you, energy levels, I was barely even able to stand. Elizabeth Cardosa Galster was diagnosed with stage 3 ovarian cancer seven years ago. At only 26 at the time, she admits it nearly broke her. And if the treatment didn't work, the alternative? From what they said, they would try different cocktails, different drugs, different combos, maybe radiation. Elizabeth is now cancer free. This new technology wasn't available to her, but she can tell you how urgently it is needed. It would increase the quality of life for patients tenfold. If the clinical trials go well, this could save a lot of lives. I really hope so. I think that um, tailoring therapy appropriately is, is, um, is known to be um, advantageous. Dr. Charles Cunningham says one of his team's focus is to get this metabolic MRI out of the clinical stages and into practice as quickly as possible. I'm very hopeful that we'll be able to um, uh, see responders and non-responders using this, this technology and that will be, of, as I mentioned, a huge clinical benefit and that's, that's the goal. If all goes as planned with the trials, the metabolic MRI program could be made available to patients here at Sunnybrook Hospital in as little as two to three years. The City News is going to continue to follow this story. We hope to bring you more when those trials begin in the coming months. Adrian Gobriel, City News.